Vardhan Grova, an ambitious, gestural and courageous sports person. Vardhan is with us since 2011. With strong intellectual abilities, teamed with enthusiasm, he has brought laurels to school by winning gold medal in high jump and bronze medal in relay race at CBSE cluster and was selected for the national. He also won gold medal at district level in SCFI tournament and reached to the state level. He was also an important member of school cricket team who won gold medal in inter-school cricket tournament. His active involvement and enthusiasm shall make him an achiever. Harshul Jain, an assertive, committed and effective and efficient boy. Harshul is the proud recipient of Bhavan's Outstanding Excellent Award this year. He joined the school in the year 2012. He is a wonderful drum player who mesmerizes the audience with his sheer talent wherever he performs on the stage. He has shown his technical skills by participating in various PowerPoint and business plan presentations. He has also served as a volunteer in various functions of school. May he continue to trade the path of success. Lakshit Jain, a vibrant, resourceful and committed boy. Lakshit joined the school in class 3. His cooperative and friendly persona makes him outshine his peers. He has played an important role in many school functions by shouldering responsibilities as a volunteer. He has also shown his versatile character through various business plan presentation competitions. Sincerity and dedication will take him on the path of success. Nikunj Agarwal, a knowledgeable, independent and inquisitive boy. Nikunj is with us since 2010. He has the ability to tackle problems with his positive attitude. With a keen interest in cricket, he played an important role in the school cricket team and also reached to the final of inter-school IPL auction tournament. We wish him success in all future endeavors. Srishti Jain, a sensible, insightful and self-reliant girl. Srishti is with us since 2012. With her passion to dance, she has performed in many school events. She also took part in Model United Nations. With her sincere attitude, she has volunteered not only in class activities but also in many school events. We wish her all the luck in her future endeavor. Now I invite Dr. Praveen Sharma, class teacher of 12 to introduce his class. Boy. 
who speaks less but comes across as a warm-hearted person. He joins the school in the year 2030. He possesses a pleasant personality with a strong sense of responsibility. A good listener and keen observer, he strives to perform well in academics. Manas Mahavar. Manas is a friendly and independent boy who joined the school in class 5. He is quite comfortable in the company of his peers. He possesses a good IT skill, diligence and dedication shall help him in achieving the great heights. Bhavika Kandirbal. Bhavika, an affectionate, well-behaved and determined child, she has been with us since 2011. Owing to her strong leadership qualities and sense of responsibilities, she has been designated the house captain of Nishta House in class 12. Her strong interest in diverse fields, coupled with excellent poetry skill, has made her with many competitions. Nishant Sassan. Nishant joined the school in 2011, a humble, respectful, polite, and dignified personality. He has a glorious list of achievements in almost all the fields. He has always been academically bright as his leadership skill, his skills are admirable. His proud recipient's principal's cup in current academic session. He was designated as deputy head boy in 2022-23 and head boy in current academic session due to his consistency, dedication, and diligence. He is an excellent orator and has many achievements to his credit in the fields as well. His participation in many inter- and intra-school activities has also been remarkable. He exhibits an interest in the realm of music and is particularly drawn to expressing himself through vocal and guitar presentation. Arush Pratap Singh. Arush joined the school in the year 2013. He is an extremely active and industrious student with a cheerful personality. He is proud recipients of scholars' pleasure in humanity's stream. He possesses an artistic player and has been honored with Bhavan Rajnatmak Award, recognizing his excellence in art. He has always been a proactive student who participates regularly in all curricular and co-curricular activities. He has consistently secured the first position in numerous art and craft competition and sports activities. His sense of responsibility has earned him the post of school prefect. His remarkable achievements underscore his tremendous potential to become an accomplished artist. Kurushi Sharma. Kurushi is a confident, assertive and lively girl. She joined this school in the year 2013. She believes in minding her own business and does not meddle with anyone's affairs. She is ambitious and performs well in academics. With her intellect and dedication, she shall go a long way to accomplish her dreams. Niharika Khandilwal. Niharika is an affectionate and decent girl who has been here with us since 2009. She proceeds to take all challenges with poise. She takes him. She takes time to open up but loves to share information and experiences. She is a keen learner and has been a part of many inter-school competitions. Her focus and diligence will help her realize her dreams. A plan of consistency and commitment shall work wonders for her in achieving academic excellence. Palak Sharma. Palak is an amiable and affectionate girl who joined the school in the year 2010. She is creative and loves to take responsibility. Constant support and guidance shall go a long way to help in attaining success. We extend our blessing for a bright future. Shivangi Khandelwa. Shivangi joined the school in the year 2010. She is a soft-spoken and humble girl with a friendly disposition. 
who enjoys the company of her peer group. She possesses a considerable potential and needs proper channeling. With dedication and diligence, she is poised for success in her endeavors. Arohi Chorama. Arohi is a friendly and energetic child. She joined the school in the year 2022. She loves to spend time with her peers. She is lively, helpful, and loves to be outdoors. She has keen interest in sports activities. She is a good athlete and enjoys games like basketball and badminton. She backed two gold, two silver medals in various sports activities and was declared the best athlete in senior category in the current academic session. With her diligence and dedication, she shall go a long way. Ashutosh Pandey. Ashutosh, a humble and soft-spoken child, become part of the school community in the year 2010. His outstanding enthusiasm as a skater has brought many numerous moments of pride for the school. A four-time gold medalist in skating across the under-12, under-14 and under-13 categories at both national and district levels. He has received a prestigious 24 karat gold memento and a cash prize 1500. Beyond his achievement in sport, Ashutosh's participation showcased his sporting acumen. With regular and consistent efforts, he is poised to reach the pinnacle of success in academics as well. Anand Mishra. Anand is a respectful and ingenious child who has been designated as discipline in charge of the school. He has been with us since 2014. He demonstrates remarkable dedication and commitment in completing each task. He takes pride in all the work he does. He is an exceptional orator and has been recognized best speaker in the various inter-school and inter-house debate competitions. He has been an active participant in theatrical activities at inter- and intra-school levels. He is the recipient of the Bhavan's Spotlight for Theater. His team won Victor's Cup and Ingenious Gems Trophy for street drama. His admirable qualities will definitely help him realize his dream. Dhruti Sharma. Dhruti is an industrious, sensible and cheerful girl. Joined the school in 2017. She has maintained a steady pace in the academics. She has great inclinations towards sports. Her dauntless efforts have brought many laurels to school in the fields of sports. She has been three times gold medalist, two times silver medalist in various sports activities. She is the recipient of the runner-up trophy in the district level athletics competition. She was also the proud recipient of Best, Best Athlete Award in Academic Year 2022-23. Her zeal in the academics is also commendable. Ikanch Meena. Ikanch is a decent, well-mannered and cultured child. He has been with us since 2012. Although he takes time to open up but behaves mature in class and believes in minding his own business. He shows enthusiasm for classroom activities, drive, and diligence will take him ahead in life. Ganendra Pancha. Ganendra joined the school in the year 2009. He is an intelligent, confident, and self-assured child. He sets high academic standards for himself and pursues them. He has been participating in various online and offline quizzes. He has he is knowledgeable, industrious child capable of attaining success in the future. Jivika Meena. Jivika is a friendly girl with pleasing personality. She is sensitive and empathetic by nature. She joined school in class 11. She has a lot of caliber which she needs to channelize in the right direction. She has a strong inclination towards sports and participate in various interests school sports activities, persistent efforts and firm conviction in her abilities shall help her pursue her dreams. Krishna Banwar. 
Krishna joined the school in the year 2016. He is a disciplined and responsible child. He enjoys his the company of his peer groups. He has an excellent attitude and is always ready to lend a helping hand. He has been designated as a school prefect. He has participated in CBSC clusters and RBSC district level tournaments under various categories. He has a lot of potential. His hard work and dedication will take him forward. Mudit Singh. Mudit is a lively, cheerful and energetic boy who had joined the school in the year 2010. He has a keen interest in sports. He enjoys games like basketball and cricket. Perseverance and faith in his strength shall help him in realizing his dream. Pragati Singh. Reflective and thoughtful Pragati joined the school in class two. She possesses a creative mind and an aesthetic eye. She has participated enthusiastically in intra and inter-school co-curricular activities and bringing laws to self and school. She loves to shoulder responsibility and has been designated as a school prefect. She has proudly earned an A grade in NCCA certificate as a cadet of NCC Airway. Perseverance and faith in her ability will help her fulfill her dream. Karun Chaudhary. Karun Chaudhary is a decent, sincere and a passionate boy who joined the school in the year 2010. He enjoys the company of his peer groups. He has a lot of potential. He has, his hard work and dedication will take him forward. Karun Kumar. Karun has been with us since class 8. He is a disciplined child with friendly demeanor. He is passionate about football and has participated in many inter-school competitions. He is capable of performing well in academics. Diligence and dedication shall help him achieve great heights. Tushar Singh. Tushar is a disciplined, obedient and soft-spoken child who loves to be by himself. He has been here with us since 2010. He is a silent worker and believes in keeping his focus on own tasks and targets. He possesses a good listening and observation skills and is capable of bringing laurels in a cabinet. Aditya Singh Jadon. Aditya joined the school in the year 2012. He appreciates solitude and enjoys his own company. A diligent and responsible individual, he has been appointed as a house captain of the big house. He is a good sports person and has been taking part in many inter and inter <coughs> events. He has participated in RBS district level basketball championship. He has proudly earned as a grade in NCC A certificate as a cadet of NCC Airway. He can excel in academics if he invests time and in energy into it. Dhruvi Meena. Dhruvi has been with us since 2012. She has been appointed as the house captain of Shorya House, known for her responsibility, empathy, goal-oriented mindset, and unwavering enthusiasm. She is shining example of well-rounded student. Dhruvi actively pursues knowledge and exhibits a keen interest in learning new things. Her involvement in various co-curricular activities, including inter-house symposium and debate competition, showcase her versatile talents, excelling not only in her leadership role, but also in academics, Ruby proves to be a dedicated student. Ishani Goswami. Ishani is a confident and lively girl with friendly disposition. She has been with us since 2010. Her participation in dance, music, and quizzing manifests her versatile interest. Owing to her strong leadership qualities and sense of responsibility, she was designated as the house prefect of Ahimsa House in class 11 and school prefect in class 12. She possesses tremendous potential to excel in all walks of life. Mani Rajni. Mani 
that a sober, well-behaved, helpful, and responsible girl who join the school in class two. She is an active and hard-working student. She approaches her task with pride, exhibiting dedication and excellence in all in all her endeavors. She actively engages in many co-curricular activities such as inter-house symposium and inter-school dance competition. She showcases commendable commitment to academics as well. Ritika Bhargav. Ritika is an affectionate, enthusiastic, optimistic and goal-driven girl who job who has been with us since 2010. She has participated enthusiastically in many inter-school activities and has volunteered for various social activities. She is able to express her thoughts, arguments, ideas clearly and effectively. Manu Singh Rawa. A humble and modest Manvi joined the school in 2010. He is comfortable with his peers and enjoys their comfort. He has an inclination for sports and puzzles, a lot of caliber that needs to be explored. Consistent effort and self-confidence will do wonders for him. Nupur Singh. An intrinsically motivated and industrious Nupur has joined the school in 2010. Excellent oratory and communication skills are her inbuilt strength. She has an analytical mind with fine capacity to absorb knowledge. She sets high academic standards for herself and pursues them. She is proud recipient of C. Subramaniam Award for character in current session. She has been designated as head girl of the school due to her consistency, dedication, and diligence. She has participated in various inter- and intra-school debate competitions and has proven her worth. She possesses vibrant imagination and has flair for writing. She is also co-author of the book Into the Stars and received best entry for article writing and poster making on theater edition by Intact. She is capable of winning accolades in academy. Navya Tagar. Navya is an energetic and confident girl who joined the school in 2022. She is quite comfortable with her peers and enjoys spending time with them. She is creative and full of curiosity. Her goals in academics shall never be too far if she channelizes her energy in the right direction. Shreya Jain. Shreya has been with us since 2010. She is high fitted girl with a friendly disposition. She is quite popular amongst her peer group. She was designated deputy vice captain of Ain's house in class 11. Her sincerity and strong leadership skills earned her the position of cultural head girl in the current academic session. She has participated in many inter-house activities and always ready, volunteered herself at every place. She possesses abundant potential, her hard work and dedication will take her forward in her life. Shriya Koshik. Shriya joined the school in the year 2022. She is an intelligent, energetic, and industrious student. She has been an enthusiastic participant in activities, both in and out of the class. She is quite creative and shows keen interest in attraction. Divyansh Yadav. Divyansh is a confident and lively person with friendly disposition. He has been here with us since 2022. His participation in theater and other co-curricular activities manifest her versatile interest. Her possess tremendous potential to excel in all walks of life. So, the last Wishing you a bright success and the future ahead. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. With achievements and qualities like these, our students will definitely meet up all challenges and chart their way to success. 
the divine light graciously brought from the sacred Saraswati temple will now be shared among the graduating students of class 12. In a beautiful expression of knowledge and wisdom, passing from one generation to the next, the class teachers will now forward this divine light to illuminate the lens held by each student. This act not only symbolizes the transition of knowledge, but activating Atma Prakash, light of knowledge, and Sankal Shakti, resolved to illuminate the world they touch. May the light of wisdom illuminate your path, guiding you through the adventures and challenges that await. May your future be as brilliant as the light you carry forward.
unto thee as thy God. Let the future be unto thee as thy God. And thou shalt serve thy guest as the God. Thou shalt practice acts which are irreproachable and no others. Thou shalt perform only such of our deeds which are good and righteous and no others. Jeeti Chasma Chayanto Brahmana Isham Payasane Prashvasitabhyam Shadhaya Deyam Ashadhaya Adeyam Shriyadejam, Jiyadejam, Dhyadejam, Samvidadejam. Treat men of higher learning and character with respect. Thou shalt give respect and reverence. Without faith, thou shalt not give. Thou shalt give plentiful and with modesty. Thou shalt give with humility and with sympathy. Athayadite karma vichikitsava vritya vichikitsava asyat ye tatra brahmanah samvarshinah yukta ayuktah Aloksha dharma kava hasyahu Yatha te tatra varte ran Tatha tatra varte tha Adha bhya kya deshu Ye tatra brahmana sammarshinah If thou hast any doubt in the course of your action, learn from the behavior of men of high learning and character who are competent to judge, devoted, kind and virtuous, even as they do in that thing, so do thou. Treat those who are accused or arraigned by their fellows in the same manner as such men of high learning and Esha Adesha Esha Upadesha Esha Vedo Panisha Eta Danushasanam Evam Upasitabhyam Evam Ujaita Dupasyam Shivate Pantharasantu This is the teaching, this is the exhortation, this is the doctrine of high knowledge, this is the instruction. Thus thou shalt practice, ya, thou shalt act this wise, may the path be blessed. You may sit down, please. May you have the humility and poise to contribute meaningfully to the world. With these wishes, it is time now to invite someone whose wise counsel and visionary leadership has guided our institution towards excellence. May we take this opportunity to request Honorable Sri Rajiv Jain, Vice Chairman, Bharti Vidya Bhavan, Jaipur Kendra, to share his insights and wisdom, enlightening us with his profound thoughts. So. The special director and the chief guest of this country, Manavra, principal Sadaapakya School, Principal Principal K. Murshi Mark, 
teachers of Prakash Prakash School, parents who are present here, and my dear students, those who are working class students today. I am happy to be present here today on this solemn occasion as we mark yet another year celebrating the day, showering our blessings on the ninth outgoing batch of the students of class 12 of Bhatia Vidya Bhavan Pratapnagar. Ashir Vachnam ceremony is an age-old tradition of Bhavan as it symbolizes the end of vital phase in the life of a student. Today is the day of recognition when the success and achievement of the senior graduate students is acknowledged. A success that is the result of preservance and dedication. This will be an occasion which the students will remember fondly with the rest of their life. It is also an important day for their family and friends, as this achievement is one that seldom managed without the support of the family and near ones. We at Bhati Utya Bhavan have always been imparting quality education to our students. To that, as young aspirants, when they step out in the world, they are able to contribute in the manner that they become key catalysts in the nation's growth story. Dear children, I just want to state that the education that you have received from this institution shall keep, shall keep reminding you of the core civilizational values. Remember that primary goal of this education should be to transform a society, to make it a better place where we all live in. Education is necessary to not just mark progress, but it is also meant to empower your, you with your own values. As you pass out the portals of your esteemed institution, I urge you to achieve the following five milestones in order to play the meaningful role in the society. Be a good human, being and a good citizen. Be positive all the time in thought, action and all your deeds. When obstacles come, stay calm and overcome them with perseverance and determination. Always dream because dreamers are creators and achievers. Try to keep to be always innovative and understand the infinite power of innovation and creativity which lies dormant inside you. Remember that innovation is the key to the progress and prosperity of our nation. My all best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your words of grace. As we stand on the precipice of new beginnings, our graduating students find themselves at a crucial juncture, where the uncharted territory of future awaits. It is precisely at this pivotal moment that the guidance and encouragement of all peoples, especially our esteemed chief guests, becomes invaluable. In the face of new challenges, uncertainties, and opportunities, our students yearn for words that will resonate beyond today, words that will leave their way through life's twists and turns. Therefore, we respectfully request our chief guests to lend their wisdom and encouragement to our students. Esteemed illustrious persons on the stage, uh, Vice Chairman of the Institution, Rajiv Jain Sahib, Chairman of the student, uh, School Management Committee, Rajiv Jain Sahib, special guest on the occasion, Principal of uh, uh, Munshi Mark, uh, uh, Priti Ragwal, 
which is Salman Ben, and uh, has been the principal Ajay Sri Ramaji Ma'am. Uh, worthy parents present here, teachers of their students, and a teacher of the school and dear students. I thank you, the institution, for inviting me, and I uh, actually feel honored on being present here on this uh, significant day. And uh, I was greatly elated to hear the expectations of all the students wonderful achievements you have made and I uh, congratulate you on this occasion and wish uh, very best for you for your future and your Actually, I have been uh, through the Bhavan Dhara given to me by the principal madam and I was amazed to find the talent of the students as well as of the teachers of the school. Uh, so, at the outset, uh, I want to give Ashir Bachan to all the students here. All Vijayi Bhava, all of you Safal Kam Bhava, and all of you Sada Sukhi Bhava. I was reading the Bandara, uh, Kanishka Chola. One of you, I don't know whether she is present here, but she was in the previous session. She had written a poetry, Good vibes are not forever. So it is not forever, and we hope that you will be, uh, you will keep associated with the uh, student, uh, school, matter, teachers, and uh, uh, the memories which you will be having from this uh, school. For this long, we have been here. <laughs> Now, actually, my speech has been, I think, has been preempted by the exhortation which you just been through. The, all the good things which has been laid down in the exhortation uh, should be the things which should be told you to you today. But still, I feel like sharing with you a few uh, tips which I uh, had experienced because when uh, my son, he was, he had gone to. IIT Delhi after passing 12th class, then I had certain kind of feelings, certain kind of experiences uh, which I would like to share with you a few points of them. The, firstly, the important thing is that this will be a totally you know, change in your uh, lifestyle. How you have been in the school, now you will be entering into the college. So to, all together a totally sea change will be there. And uh, you will probably find the first year, very first year, you will be finding that you are a free bird. Here there is a lot of discipline which you won't find there. So you have to be on your guard. You have to be careful that you are not distracted. There will be many distractions on the way. So you are not distracted. You don't go astray. And you keep a caution to be on guard in the sense that you enjoy the freedom. You enjoy the all musty that you have there. And you have a lot of hobbies I have heard in the sports and in the uh, art and in the poetry and, and literature and academic. So you do all those things there, but you keep a guard that you do pay attention to your studies also, that later on you don't regret that first year you had you could, you could have done this and you could have got a better grade also. So try to keep a balance uh, between uh, the, your uh, freedom and the academic achievements. And of course, certainly I will like to uh, certainly emphasize on this, that you keep up uh, developing your hobbies. And also, uh, like a uh, newspaper, I don't know whether you people uh, read newspapers, you have a habit or not. Probably some might not have. Most of them must be having. But I remember a case I, I came across recently, that there was a student who was topper of the DPS, Delhi. And then throughout engineering, he was a topper. Then he got a job in the Google, very prestigious uh, institution, a very prestigious package. But when you interact with him, so he is totally not aware about what's happening around the world, what's happening across the country, what's happening in the world. So he, he won't know even what is, who is Nirmala uh, Sitaraman, who is Rashid Tharoor. I mean, I'm giving you a very, very crude example. But he was totally unaware about the, what happening in the world, what's happening around him. 
So then you get a very solid figure. So I will advise that you we keep in touch with the developments which are going around. Uh, I find that my uh, 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 I mean, great, uh, granddaughter, my daughter's daughter. So when he asked me, she is in 10, when he asked me very intricate questions about uh, the news around, like she reads Times of India. So I feel very happy that uh, she is updated. So and, uh, you are uh, knowing the things around you, so it will be a, a good asset for you. Uh, it will, you will develop the confidence also. So keep that habit. Keep the habit of reading some book. And I am sure you must be reading, but uh, giving the stress and the strain here in the school, you might not be finding time. But you develop a habit of reading some book. Even three, four pages a day should be good enough, but it makes you a, a perfect person. <coughs> Another thing was about uh, uh, that now you will be distanced from your family because these days you must be mostly residing with your family, coming to school and going back to your home. But uh, afterwards, maybe probably most of you will be distanced from your family. So then I advise that uh, you be in touch with your uh, family members, like particularly parents, and if they have grandparents then uh, you try to find some excuse to talk to them. Spare time to talk to your grandparents, to your parents. And I find that mostly girls are attached to mother, then I advise them to talk to your father. Not just this, ki, kaise papa thi ke gaya? no. But you talk to him for one or two minutes. Show your concern about uh, his, maybe his health, maybe his happiness with him. Likewise the boys, if they are more attached to the father, in that case, they should talk to their mother and spend some few minutes. And uh, I remember my son, when he used to come from Delhi, so my grandfather used to stay with us. So he was an old guy, 85 years old and hard of hearing. But he, without my telling him, without my advising him, he was just on his own, go to him, his room, sit with him, hold his hand, and just, because he was not hearing, but he, he keeps smiling, he's holding hand, sit for a few minutes with him, so that was a wonderful thing which I found. I mean that, uh, that, that touch, that power of the silence, that very really important. Uh, recently two days back, I was in Delhi and uh, talking to a girl, uh, granddaughter of my colleague, he is an I observed. So I was, I asked him whether he, when did she talk last to his, uh, her uh, grandfather? She said, it has been months. Manka, it's not, it's not done. Uncle, we have the time to that. Uh, this is the most stupid thing in the world to say that my parents say, your grandparents say, bad time is like that. So, then I advise her uh, that uh, you should find time, some excuse. Put your dada say, the dada kaise say when you were collector, what happened in this situation? Because he's preparing for the UPSC exam. So, so just ask him to talk to her, talk to him, talk with him for two, three minutes. So, he will feel very happy. Then she promised me that I'll do that. So, whenever you visit your home, Sit with your mother, sit with your father, not just very casual thing. Normally what happens is that children, they, whatever their requirement, they will always be expecting some requirement. And expect that parents are supposed to give us and give us. They never think that they also uh, return back in the sense, even if you hear them, you sit with them, if you hear them out, it is a, a very wonderful feeling for them. And uh, one more thing that uh, mostly the students, now you, you are no more kid now, so when you go to college, mostly the children, they, whenever they have a work, they need money, or they have a work with the parents, they will only they will talk to them. And learn sometimes to say, Kine di papa, bahut hoga paisa, abhi mujhe nahi chahiye. Try to say this once. Every time you, you expect, ya hamdhi or dhe dhe, mujhe paisa or dhe dhe. So, so try to say that something, you know, hoga papa, abhi mujhe zorot nahi hai. Okay. So it, it has a great bonding with the family. And, and uh, then the blessings come. See, we are talking about Ashish Bachchan. So Ashish Bachchan, just not by touching feet and running away, but just not by saying even Ashwa Deli hai, or not Ashwa Deli hai, Ashwa doesn't come just like that. I mean, you have to be a supatra for getting Ashwa. So, then another thing I want to talk to you about was that uh, everyone in life wants success and happiness. And these are complex words, the meaning is very complex. So, success and happiness. They have a, they sh we should have a holistic approach about that, a multi-dimensional approach about that. I recall having uh, seen the movie Three Idiots. 
I don't know whether some of you have seen it or if you haven't seen it, please do see it. See, it is it's a good movie. Every time you see, you enjoy it. Then you will find they have uh, tried to give the true meaning of what success is. One character tells his father, "The Papa, I will stay in a small car. I will stay in a small place. But if I want to do what I want, I will do it. 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 I will Uh, for success and happiness, there are viruses. A few viruses are there. The viruses are comparison. You try to compare. So, my son, when he got a campus interview, selected, got selected there. Out of 100 persons, one company interviewed 100 persons, and he was the only one who was selected. And he got the package of six lakh way back. That was the old times. It was good enough for us. But he keeps telling, he keeps cribbing, cribbing that no. कम है कम मिला है कम मिला है क्यों बोले मेरे फ्रेंड को नाइन लैक्स मिला है सो आई सेड कि अच्छा तेरे फ्रेंड टेन लैक्स है तो यू टेल मी हाउ मेनी ऑफ योर बेस्ट लैक्स गोट मोर देन सिक्स लैक्स तो बोले पापा पांच छह लोग हैं मैं कहा यू आर लुकिंग एट द फाइव सिक्स पीपल यू आर नॉट लुकिंग एट द अनदर फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी पीपल सो गोट लेस देन यू बट यू ऑलवेज ट्राई टू सी हायर सो दिस इज वन एंड देन चेंजिंग अदर्स If you see others and keep chasing this, अच्छा मेरे पास भी ये छोटी गाड़ी है, मेरे पास बड़ी गाड़ी आ जाए, मेरे पास बड़ा पैकेज आ जाए, मेरे पास भी आ जाए, so then again this is a virus. It kills your happiness and success. Then jealousy, then inferiority complex, and blame game. So what happens is you try to put blame on something. किसी भी प्रेम पे निकालोगे कभी तो मम्मी पापा के भी blame कर लोगे आप, और किसी भी future पे कर लोगे blame कि हमें नहीं पढ़ाया अच्छा आया, कुछ भी ये तो blame game. When you think that you are not successful. Then you try to find out the shortcuts, and then what are the antidotes for such things? I try to uh, figure out that the one remedy, of course, is looking below you, and then another is half glass empty, or whether half glass is filled, looking at that like that. Then of course hobbies, your music, playing, art, cooking, these are all space buster, and this gives you a different dimension to your personality, and then build up your confidence. Then another thing is the prayer. You know, prayer is a direct communication to the cosmic energy. So people call cosmic energy by many names. Some people call it Hanumanji, some Bhagwan, some God, some Allah. But it is ultimately a cosmic energy, and which is absolutely is there. So if you pray, then you get back. So these are the things uh, which uh, help boost uh, your uh, success, happiness, and confidence. So friends, one thing I want to tell you is that some happiness are very costly. I want to caution you, warn you, for your future that some happiness, I repeat, some happiness are very, very costly, and you have to pay a very heavy price for them. And what are those? So when I went to Delhi, I went to Delhi, and there was a rumor that there is a lot of drug going on there. So the drugs, use of drugs, smoking, then uh, liquor, then stealing. Sometimes you know you feel a kick when you get take something, you know some steal something you get a kick. So be cautious. And then dishonesty and immorality, of course. So these you get you a quick happiness, but in the long term you will find that you have to pay a very very heavy price for that. So I want to caution you on that. And the following things I want to tell you is that they pay definitely in life. These things they not pay immediately. But definitely they will pay you in your longer run. One is patience. Patience meaning sometimes some ever thing comes, then let it go. The, the let it go uh, philosophy the, is pain. First evidence of course, lage ro. You know, uh, if you have seen the movie, I don't know, trust fail. So he repeats. So first evidence is important in life. Then loyalty to the boss or to the organization is also very important. Because uh, people keep changing the job after six months or after every year, and they uh, rolling uh, most never uh, rolling stones never get more kind of thing. And then honesty. Uh, take it from me, honesty and integrity. Always, always pay in the long run. So don't go for short term. 